Hello everyone, this is Satvik and in this video we will be discussing about a cool tool which is named as Enrich. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all really really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be the part of my community or if you want to share any of your queries, etc. like that, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, in this video, we'll be discussing about a cool tool uh, which is named as Enrich as I told you earlier. So this particular project uh, which is named as Enrich is uh, by Shodan. So if you know, Shodan is like... Uh, like a search engine for hackers like where we can go and see the uh, data related to a particular ip or we can look into some cctvs and stuff so that is not what we'll be talking about so this particular tool is uh based on shodan okay so i'll be linking this uh, thing in the description below you can do check them out so what it does is like it quickly analyzes the ip address so let us assume that let me give you a simple scenario where you are trying to hunt uh vulnerabilities on some real life application not the test applications okay i'll do let you know why this doesn't work on the test applications or the applications or the operating systems which are in your virtual network okay i'll do let you know so like while you're trying to hunt on some real life application like scanning or uh recognizance is a basic part that everyone goes through okay like we try to see what are the ports open and etc like that so this particular tool is really is absolutely fast in doing the stuff so like you can give a, a ton of ips at a time or you can give a single ip so it checks for the open ports and as well as the vulnerabilities okay so it tries to mention the C cve value uh, which uh, like if the particular ip is vulnerable to okay so this is a bit uh, this is based on gitlab here this is the Git uh, gitlab uh, repository here so you can see they had given some information like this like you can it it, tra it takes the ip address it shows the open ports like tags like whether it is based on cloud or anything like that like cpes and also the vulnerabilities like uh, once you find this kind of cv you can simply copy this cv and you can look what it is vulnerable to and how you can exploit that okay so installation is pretty pretty simple so i'll be showcasing this in process of installation uh, on my parrot os so you can feel free to use any operating system of your choice anything uh, like uh, which as of now based on debian okay so let me download this particular thing okay and uh, let me paste that so like what it is doing is it's simply downloading the .teb so it is a debian package like if you take windows it is like .exe or .msi but for debian uh, based operating systems or debian package linux systems it is like .deb so uh, so the next step you can do is you can simply follow this sudo dpkg i and you can simply specify the file name and it takes a bit of a small amount of time and you are good to go so now i had already done that so i'll be not doing this particular step you can simply follow this not at all a big issue okay so now let's dive uh, now uh, let's dive into this uh, part okay like the practical part so in the meantime uh, let me start my metasploitable so like uh, as i told you this particular tool works for the real life applications so let me show you that practically as well so that you can understand what's happening there so as i told you this particular enrich tool is based on shodan so you can visit the shodan by going to the url shodan.io and there is also a cool uh, extension as well shodan uh, extension as well you can do check that out okay so uh, what you can possibly do is so they had uh, a simple they made a simple what you call a kind of uh, testing here so like this particular ip is used for testing so let me ping that first so this is like uh, a public ip that anyone can ping through like for test purpose i'm doing i'm showing on this like i don't want to show this on any real life network as of now because uh, it can lead to anything so let me paste that ip and you can see like it is like a test application kind of thing like this thing is developed by this particular project uh, itself so that we can test the stuff 
so in order to use this tool or uh, if you want to check whether this tool is successfully installed or not so it is simple so enrich hyphen uh, sorry enrich hyphen hyphen help so you can see a few options here like it is pretty simple tool to use okay like you can add this to your recon process okay so that you can get some more information like you can look for the version the output and you can specify the file name which consists of some several ip addresses as well like if you take uh, if you are hunting let us assume on google.com then you'll find a lot of subdomains and each of those subdomains might have a different ip address and in, in that case you can mention all those ip addresses in a file and you can uh, provide that uh, provide that file as input for this tool so that you can view what are all the ports and services that are running on that okay so yes uh, so like if you want to run this particular tool okay for a single ip address so it is simple echo and uh, you need to add pipe symbol here and uh, enrich followed by hyphen like if you simply do give an enrich it doesn't work because it by default looks for a file name but if you if, as we are not having any file name you can simply uh, give a hyphen and we are good to go so you can see uh, as it is test application you can see these are the ports open 2180 and 443 and these are some few cpes okay so you can simply copy them like versions kind of thing like these are some vulnerable uh, services that are running out there okay and these are some few vulnerabilities out there as well like uh, you can see these are some versions apache http server 2.4.25 like if you simply do a google you'll find some few cves uh, out there or uh, you can simply call, uh, follow these cps uh, cves and uh, like you can simply copy them if you can paste it in the google or any browser then you'll find some detailed information so it is like mod copy uh, so it is based for pro ftpd so if you can clearly see here we are having some service which is related to pro ftpd with a version of 1.3.5p so that is how this particular tool is working and also the biggest advantage uh, that i introduced this particular tool is the speed okay so if you can see like if you run a nmap scan on this particular thing then it might take like minutes of time okay and there is also a good chance uh, that the firewall might block your requests so this particular tool is absolutely fine in doing this stuff and in the meantime so as i told you this particular tool only works with the internet stuff like uh, if you if you can take here this metasploitable is hosted on my network like this is a normal network like which shodan doesn't have an access so let me go let me find out the ip address so if you can do, I, I do, I need a simple and we got the IP address of this meta exploitable like uh, the short end doesn't have any access to this particular net uh, thing. Okay, like even though if I do a quick uh, echo uh, paste and uh, and reach hyphen like you, you won't get any output because as I told you this enrich is based completely on short end. Okay, that is the point that you need to remember like if you take there is some rush scan kind of thing which are based on nmap only but they are a bit faster but this particular tool enrich is completely based on shodan okay and also guys as they specified like you can uh, create a file so what we can do is uh, nano so ips.txt so you can paste some few ips there so we'll go with this particular ip okay and uh, don't worry guys i'll leave the link for that in the description below you can do check them out no need to worry 22 dot so i'll give some random ip as well and control s and control x so running is really simple like this part uh, you can simply specify the file name like it will be really really easy for your automation as well for your bug bounty and stuff so that is it guys for this video uh, this is a small and a short video i think so like uh, the only uh, the reason i uh, in introduced this particular tool is like it is command line based so like many bug bounty hunters or many cyber, uh, security researchers you can try to automate this stuff and also it is based on shodan uh, and which makes this tool absolutely faster and you can see it is also helping us in identifying some vulnerabilities as well so if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share it with your friends who are really interested in this stuff this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you